Hello and welcome to Tally, the fastest way to process expense reports. You're about to see how easy it is for field employees and accountants alike to submit expenses, approve them, and get them exported out to QuickBooks Online as bills, checks, or credit card charges. Uh, I'm going to log in as one of those field employees. This is John. Uh, he's not normally in the office. He's out on the road a lot and he could be taking clients out on business meals. Uh, he's also tra tracking his mileage and uh, also doing corporate credit card charges. So when he jumps in here, uh, he can easily email in his receipts. He can also pull out his Apple or Android device and take a picture of his receipt and it'll pop up here. Or he can uh, drag and drop his receipts in. I am going to drag and drop a couple of receipts I have on hand uh, directly into Tally. Likewise, I am also going to pull up a couple of credit card charges and bring those in as well. So really easy. Uh, all I have to do for credit card charge, uh, just go in here, enter in my password, and it'll connect directly to my bank, pull those charges across. So I have a couple of... Uh, couple of these charges here. You can tell uh, which card it's from. It has the amount. It has the merchant. It has the date. It tries to find uh, an expense category, um, but not always. So it's, but it's really easy to just pull this up. Let's say this was for, this was a tournament expense for King's Landing over in Westeros make that billable as well uh, okay perfect so uh, it, my receipts are processed we got the date we got the merchant uh, this one found that it's a meal which is correct uh, and it has the amount I'm gonna open it up and fill out a little bit more information here go ahead and fix that perfect meals I'm gonna put this to Night's Watch Construction, Westeros. Uh, so who was on this business meal? I'll put a couple of my colleagues. Save that, perfect. So really easy to gather my expenses, really easy to make any edits if I need it. Um, and Pretty much when I have everything here, I can just go ahead and submit this. So let me do, let me go ahead and start an expense report. So I have a couple set up already. Those two that I just chose and created a report for show up here. Uh, likewise, my credit card charges get bundled automatically for me. So let me go ahead and change this so it has. Move that back to new, uh, new expenses. Uh, I'll also get rid of this and just choose the two that I modified that are ready to go. So I have the meals, I have the credit card charge. What I'm going to do is submit both of these to my approver, and I am done. Uh, so if I was John, done. I've taken my receipts filled out any details that I need to, and then submitted it. Here, uh, I'm the approver. You'll see here that I have expenses ready for approval. So what I can do is just approve it directly in here. Perfect. Or I can log in. So let me go ahead and leave Jon Snow here. And I will log in as the administrator. Okay, so as the admin, I don't have very many of my own expenses, but I do have to approve expenses. And I do have to export them out to QuickBooks Online. So not only do I have the, the two expenses that uh, we saw John Smith, I have another expense that John submitted a while ago, and I have another one of my employees, Dennis, here, uh, who has business meals. 
So this was approved by uh, her approver. Let me go ahead and pull it up. And I can see, perfect, this was approved by her approver. It has the attendees here. Looks like she tracked it to a class. This one she tracked to a project. Perfect. I want to take a look at any of these other ones. Something John submitted a while ago. Charges. And here's the one that we submitted together. Uh, you can even take a look, and even as the admin, I can still pull this up and say, okay, yep, there we go. Looks good. And as the ultimate uh, administrator, if I need to make any changes, if John uh, messed up somewhere along the line, the approver uh, really saw this was, okay, well, this is great. This is an expense he really did. Let me approve it. But however, as the administrator, you might say, okay, well, wait, let me actually code it to this expense category or make sure it gets coded to this account. So not a problem. Uh, I can make any changes if I need to, but fortunately for me, everything looks really good and I'm just gonna export all of these. So I have reimbursable charges for Jon Snow, I have credit card charges uh, here as well, and I also have reimbursable expenses for Dennis. So I'm gonna go ahead and export all of these out to QuickBooks Online. And you can see them go across, and we are good to go here. So really easy to uh, gather those receipts, really easy to create the reports, uh, approve them, and export them and super uh, super simple uh, for the approval or the administrator. So let me go ahead and log into QuickBooks Online and let's take a look at what we've exported. Try that one more time. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So let's take a quick look uh, at some of the items I brought across. So let's take a quick look at the bills for John. So John is actually a vendor. Um, so let's say in this scenario, uh, he's a 1099 contractor, works for me, uh, but I want to reimburse him with bills. So let's see, let's take a look here. Okay, perfect. Here are those reimbursable expenses that we submitted together. Uh, you can see the date it's to John, it's to the appropriate expense category. Uh, we have the balance and I can pay them if I'd like to. Um, let's go ahead and open one of these bills. So I have further detail here. Um, I have John's mailing address, dates, the appropriate expense account, description here, the uh, amount, and I, you can see I have the class here. Likewise, if I look down here at the attachments, boom, I can just click that and you have the receipt right here. Uh, so really easy, if I needed to go into tally, I can search for the uh, this expense report. I can see the history there. Likewise, I can just click it all in one spot and I have the receipt. So perfect, that is set and done. Uh, let's take a look at the reimbursable for Danny's. She is an employee, so I'm reimbursing her with a check. Let's go ahead and pull this up. And here we go. So we have uh, Dennis here, 107. Let me go ahead and pull the check open uh, itself. Here we go, perfect. So Dennis is here. These are the appropriate accounts. We put all the information. So she went on this business meal with Cal Drogo and Jonah Morma. Um, we have the class and we have these as well. So let me go ahead and close this and let's take a look at the credit card charges. So let me go ahead and pull this up. So we have the credit card expense. Uh, in my account I have uh, named my credit card account just credit card um, I have the charge here itself I map this uh, you'll notice I map this to a service item uh, rather than an expense account directly so I have this here as well with the amount and the class and if I had an attachment it'd be here as well 
So charges in here um, as well. So that is a bill, check, and a credit card charge directly within QuickBooks Online.